I was her older sister, only sister. There were uh, two boys, two girls. Um, she was five y years younger than me, so, you know, as kids, I guess we didn't have that much in common, except since we didn't grow up in a mansion, we had to share a room. So we probably drove each other a little bit crazy. She was messy, I was not. She, she lived in Vancouver, so I got a phone call in November of 2011, and uh, she sounded very somber, and she said, I have to tell you something. And uh, she said, I've just been diagnosed with ALS. Well, I, I just, I, I remember this long, prolonged silence, yeah. and I knew it was terrible. I didn't know how terrible it would be in reality. She got more and more locked up inside her body, and I mean, literally, from, from at the beginning, not being able to do things with her hands, to not being able to do anything else, to eventually, her speech got very impaired to the point where she was not decipherable anymore and then she just lost the voice entirely. So right through until the day she died, she was still 100% up here and in here. She had a great heart, but um, the rest of her body was just completely immobilized. It was, I can't imagine a crueler way to go. To the day she died, she loved trotting out the old songs that we used to sing and uh, she, you know, she'd call me up on March 17th and say, it's a great, and I'd go, day for the Irish, you know, because we, we, we had all these routines. But anyway, we had like so many memories from a pretty good childhood to a spectacular adulthood. You started writing, I love you because, mm -hmm. how did that start? It started after I got back from Vancouver in June and I'm such a queen of denial, but I, I realized I, I couldn't keep denying that she, she really was dying and I knew that the day was coming within the next little while, I didn't know how long. And I just thought, I can't do anything about it, but at least I can let her know, not just I love you, but I love you for this reason or this or this. I thought I can give her some, some specifics. I love you because you're the very best sister any human being could ever be lucky enough to have. I love you for your spontaneous generosity. I'm reminded of it every time I grate garlic or sip wine from our Riedel stemless, which is to say every day. I love you because you're the only person in the world who will laugh if I say, I'm not going down there, there's pumas down there. Smothers Brothers skit that we loved. I love you for your unshakable sense of family and togetherness. You are our heartbeat. I love you, she. I don't think you need any more explanation. You've always been with me. You'll always be with me. I love you.